what up, players? Subscribe! What up, players? Warboss stay up in this mood! In celebration of the advanced order of the new pirate game, Dread Fleet, now on advanced order at gamesworkshop.com, I have got a new Ogre Kingdom's Pirate Man Eater. And it comes in a standard Citadel mystery box. Citadel Miniatures mystery box. And um, when it's built up and painted, it should look like this. This is off the Games Workshop website. So, I was looking at it because, you know, I can't tell with these ogre models what are supposed to be uh, little holes in the cloth, like this hole in the hat, and what is a fine cast air bubble. So let's take a look at the model, shall we? Here is the head and the little shield and brace of pistols that go across the front as a kind of substitute gut plate. And let's see if there's any mistakes because you know how I love Fine Cast and Fine Cast loves me. Doesn't look like there's anything wrong with the shield or the two pistols. Just a little bit of flash on the ends. And let's look at the head here. See, there's a hole in the hat, but that's supposed to be there. Which you might not know if you've dealt with a lot of fine cast stuff as of late. Okay, the body piece comes all by itself. Standing on a little treasure chest with a skull coins and a little peg underneath the skull to when when they were in mod, uh, metal when they were back when they used to do these figures in metal they would s s have like little pegs at the bottom to s slide it into a hole that you would drill into the bottom of the 40 millimeter base which looks like this and all ogre figures come on these square bases and they have these holes at the bottom so you would just you would just drill a hole into one of the ones that you wanted to place him in and then slot in this little peg into the hole and oh my goodness sorry about that dropped him for a second what was i saying uh, it would make it a lot easier in metal to hold him into place because these models were you know so heavy back then back in the good old days but uh, oh the hole. Fine cast. Can't really see it in the picture if it's supposed to be there or not. Hmm. Uh, I like all the little pieces of metal that the ogre is putting all over his body, except that, as you can see here, it creates a really bad mold line, which you're going to need to go in with either a nail file or it's really bad, a very fine modeling knife, and just shave it off. Also, it's got a cute little pirate, uh, parrot, pirate parrot. Very cute little toucan. Wait a minute, that's not a pirate. It's a, it's not a parrot, it's a not like dressed as a parrot. Ah, that's hilarious. I love it. I was like, what, what why does this parrot have arms? Look, it's a Noblar. Look at his arms and his feet dressed as a parrot. Oh my god, that's hilarious. That is the best thing I've ever seen. That is the best. This <laughs> a Noblar parrot. Uh, I love it. Okay, and here are his two his two arms. His right arm is holding what looks like a rusty sword or a rapier. I don't know. Um, I don't know, what, what do you call these swords with the with the arm guards, or the hand guards over it, like that? Can't I can't recall off the top of my head. He's also got a little bit of length of a chain attached to a crossbow, so that... Wait. No, it's not a crossbow. It's like a, like a pick, like a war pick. Looked like a crossbow for a second, but if you look at the model here... It's not a war pick. Oh my gosh, I get it, it's an anchor! like a broken off anchor that's why because it doesn't have doesn't have this side fully done so that's cool and that's why there's chain on it okay I get it I get it 
very cool Games Workshop. I love this model. I think um, for creativity, imagination-wise, the the <laughs> the Noblar parrot, the, uh, the the different style of sword, this very swashbuckly pa piratey kind of sword, the the fact that he's using an anchor as a hand weapon. I think that's great. That's super hilarious and super awesome. And using a shield as a gut plate, uh, kind of piratey shield, and a brace of pistols, I think is is just really fantastic. And of course, the obligatory eye patch. So I believe that this blue and gold or yellow color scheme for the shield is indicative of the Empire Province of. Um, Oh gosh, I can't recall the name off the top of my head, but it's the one with Marienburg in it, I think. Is that it? The blue and the yellow, the one with the Empire's Navy station, the one that's on the coast. So that's why probably the blue and yellow and allusions to seafaring, swashbuckling adventures. But but yeah, I am, I'm really happy with the model. I'm really happy there's no really obvious miscast that I can see off the top just looking at it. And what we're going to do now is I'm going to put it together, clean up the mold lines, and we're going to show you what he looks like when we get back. Stay tuned for more. Alright players, here's our finished ogre man-eater pirate. And as you can see, he is looking, or not finished, but at least glued together, he's looking pretty good. I love the dynamic pose. And I, I can't stop looking at this Noblar parrot, it's hilarious. He's just crossing his arms like, I can't believe I'm being made to do this. This is the worst job ever. Ah, it's a tough job, but somebody's gotta do it. Anyways, I love the face, the, just this, the, the detail on this model. The fact that he's using an anchor as a weapon, and not a, even a full anchor, but like a broken down anchor. I'm thinking while I was putting it on that what I like to do is put like seaweed dangling off of it. <laughs> uh, even if it's, you know, even if, I, I don't know what I'm going to decide to do the basing for him, but if I do decide to make an ogre army, I, I was thinking, oh yeah, we'll have them like coming down the mountain. But um, if we're going to make this more of a coastal or a lowland kind of army, then I definitely love to use the seaweed idea. I see there's still a really bad mold line I've got to work out on the this broken sword weapon. I've decided not to use the gut plate because look at the look at the detail on the belt. It's so clear and clean, and um, the back of the gut plate for the for the shield and the brace of pistols just slots into it, and it looks like well, why did they make a belt if they're going to? make a gut plate that just sits over it. So what I've decided is that I'm going to save that for another character. Oh, I'm going to save the, that gut plate for another character and I'm going to use just this model as is and I think I'm going to do like a, a tattoo of like a, either a, a ship, a pirate ship or a, or, a, or, or a mermaid or maybe like a treasure map or something on his belly just to cover up that, that big area. And um, if you'd like to see me do a War Boss tutorial for this guy, then then leave some comments below, and I'll, or otherwise I'm just gonna paint him up and I'll put that in another video. But that's it for this one. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.